All right, everybody, we are ready to start our third Harriet Tubman book for this week. Um, this is called Harriet Tubman and the Freedom Train, written by Sharon Gale. And we are going to read chapter one today. And chapter one is titled Born into Slavery. And remember, that is exactly how an apple for Harriet Tubman started. It talked about she was born into slavery because her parents were slaves. So when she and her brothers and sisters were born, they were automatically um, slaves and owned by the same people that owned her parents. I'll meet you in the morning when I reach the promised land on the other side of Jordan for I'm bound for the promised land. Harriet Tubman often sang when she was lonely or scared. This time Harriet was not scared. Harriet was free. Harriet was not born free. She was born a slave. Her parents and brothers and sisters belonged to someone and so did she. But her parents loved her and they decided to name her Araminta or Minty for short. They did not know that one day she would call herself Harriet. The night Minty was born, friends of the family came to visit. They were proud of the baby, but they wished all of them were free. So it's kind of bittersweet. You know, they're very happy that the baby is born and they love her, but they know that this baby is already born into slavery. <clears throat> The life of a slave was very hard. Even small children had to work. So think back to what we read yesterday and think about some of the jobs um, that Harriet had as a little girl. Remember she worked in the tobacco fields and she even had to watch that mean old Miss Susan's baby all night and um, try to keep it from crying. When Minty was still a young child, she had to leave her home and work for another family. At night she had to take care of their baby. In the daytime, she had to help clean the house. Minty's new owner was very mean. One day she tried to beat her. Minty decided to run away. Minty quickly slid under the fence of the pig pen. She stayed there until night. <clears throat> when the pigs were fed, Minty ate some of their food. After four days, Minty was found. She was beaten so badly that she had to go back to her mother. There's a picture of her trying to crawl out of the pig pen when she was a little girl. As Minty grew older, she went to work in the fields. Field slaves were treated very badly. They were often beaten with chains and leather straps. Minty hated to see any living thing being hurt. She could not stand to see a helpless slave being beaten, but what could she do about it? She was only 13. So that's the age um, that the eighth graders are that are in the Sizemore's class, the seventh and eighth graders. So that's about the age of um, Henry and the other kids. Um, that's how old she was at the time. One day as Minty worked, someone shouted, run away. Minty followed the slave and the slave owner. Soon the owner caught the slave and held him. He asked Minty to help him tie the slave up. Minty refused. So refused means she said, no, she wouldn't do it. The owner was so angry, he threw an iron bar that hit her on the head and Minty was never the same. You see the man here holding up the iron bar. Okay. So that is the end of chapter one, Born a Slave. Chapter two, which we'll start tomorrow, is titled Escape. So you can already be thinking based on what we've read in our last two books in the title of chapter two, be thinking and making your predictions about what you think will happen tomorrow. Yeah.